I used to go to Barnes and Nobles whenever I was in the area in their coffee shop and I saw this incredible view and I thought I'm going to use that for painting and so I drew this these buildings on a board about this big and I thought I'm going to transfer it on a canvas and then I'll make a painting so I did and I drew it and then I went into the street to work when, when I had every window in place and so on because this is not a view from the street you couldn't see any of that in the street only list them from Barnes and Nobles so whenever I paint people start coming by because it takes me so long to finish a painting so they keep coming and watching what I've been doing and I was sitting by the subway I'll show you where it is mm -hmm. right over here and doing the buildings and a group of people as usual were standing around me and an airplane went by and one of the people who lives and works in this area said this is crazy I've never seen an airplane here airplanes don't come into this area and I didn't really listen and then all at once a cell phone rang from one of the people watching and he screamed he said oh god oh no oh no and he ran into Broadway here's Broadway like this and we all ran after him now the World Trade Center this is the angle if you're up here in Barnes and Nobles in the coffee shop mm -hmm. but when you are sitting here the World Trade Center is here mm -hmm. and we ran out on Broadway and there was the World Trade Center with fire and clouds around, clouds of smoke. And we just stood there. And the strange thing is, because we spoke to people afterwards, and most of them knew exactly what I said, I did not know what I was looking at. Not for one minute did I think, my God, there are people in there, or how did this happen? I just looked at it and it didn't go from from the vision to the brain and nobody talked we didn't talk I went back to the painting and I packed up and I went back to Martin's Nobles and the doorman said Hetty go home get home as quickly as you can because the trains probably won't run much longer and I tried to call Eric, my husband, and my cell phone didn't work. And I went into a bank and asked if I could use their phone. And that was already walking towards Penn Station. And their phone worked. And Eric said, see if you can stay with Joni. Our daughter, Joni, lived and worked in Manhattan. So I went to her office and people were already preparing in shock to walk home over the bridges because by then we all knew that nothing was working anymore. And when I walked, the sky was covered with black clouds as if you would see an explosion. It was so, it was very, very bad. And I spent the night with my daughter and so did our son because he worked on 14th Street. He didn't go home either. And I, um, when it was still dark, I wanted to go home. And I went into the street and I found a taxi that would take me. And he wouldn't let me pay him. And I said, but, but I need you to drive me. And you drove me, why can't I pay you? And he said, not today. I'm not taking money from anybody. I'm doing it free for everybody. He said, that's the least we can do today. So that's my story of this painting. Hold on and I'll show you the 911.
Mm -hmm. This happened afterwards. You're going to see the drawing. You tell me when I should show it. Oh, sure. This is the drawing that I began originally. Okay? See the skyline? And I never finished it. I thought someday I'll finish it. And somehow, when I finished this painting, which is such a joyous painting, I had such a wonderful time doing it, and it's so bright. I came back to this, and I drew it as it was then. Shadowy people holding signs. Have you seen so-and-so? This is my name. If you find my father, let me know. So I just tried to show the sadness by not making individuals. The buildings are all the way they were. You know, when I was working there on the painting, about a week or so after 9-11, a young woman passed by and she saw what I was doing and she started to cry and she said, I'm Muslim and I am so afraid now because people will say I did it and I didn't, I love New York. And she said, now the prejudice is going to start against me. And that sort of, in my mind, belongs into that painting. But it's too late to put it in.